Hi, this is Sri Lakshmi from Informatica Technical Support. In this video, we will discuss how we can create a connection using key-based authentication in IACS. This is the agenda for the video. So first we will see how we can set up the keys in the Secure Agent Server and then we will move on to a demo which shows how we can create a connection in IACS console. So basically there are two types of authentication, one is password authentication and the other one is key based authentication. For password authentication, we give the password along with the username. For key based authentication, we will be giving the private key file along with the username. So these are the steps to set up the keys. So first we will create a key pair using SSH keygen command. So this key pair will create a public key as well as a private key. So to connect to the remote server, we need to copy our public key to the keys list of the remote server. So this copy, this command, sorry, SSH copy ID command will copy the public half of the key pair to the remote server. So once this is done, we will be able to connect to the remote server from the secure agent server. Uh, let's see how it is done. The server that is seen on the um, left side is my secure agent and the server that is on the right side it is my uh, remote server. So on the secure agent let's create a key pair using this command. Uh, so I am just uh, selecting the default file location as well as the file name. I am I don't want to keep any passphrase I don't want to keep any password so I'm just pressing enter. So let's go to the SSH folder and see the contents. Yeah. So there are two files. The first one is the public key and the second one is the private key. So now we need to copy uh, the public half of the key pair to the remote server. Uh, the command is this. So it is SSH copy ID hyphen I, the file name, public file, public key file and the username and at the server. So we need to enter the password here after which this public key will be added to the known host of the remote server. Okay, now let's try executing this command it should uh, execute I mean it should do an SSH to the server without asking for password yeah it worked now let's see the contents of uh, the .sh directory here okay so here we see the authorized keys and this is from my secure agent so this is the secure agent so the file which gets updated is the authorized keys file so now let's move on to creating uh, a connection in the IACS console. Uh, in the IACS console, let's create a new connection. Uh, enter the connection name. Uh, I'm selecting advanced SFTP v2. Select the runtime agent. The host name is this. Port is correct. And I'm removing the password. And on the folder path, a private key file is placed in this location. I don't have a passphrase. So this is it. So I'm just giving the private key. Okay, the connection is successful. Uh, please let us know if you have any feedbacks on this video. If there are any further questions or suggestions, you can let us know. We will work on it and update you. Thank you for watching this video.